Okay, story time. Uh, I was back in Minnesota for my uh, Christmas break, right? Um, and I have a friend. Uh, what, for the sakes of conversation, we'll call him Brandon. Okay. Um, and Brandon, he is very hyperactive. And he considers himself a 90s kid. He is my age. In fact, he's probably like a year older than me. Um, and I'm 20, by the way. So he's 20, 21. But he considers himself a hardcore 90s kid. Uh, for some ungodly reason. But he's very entertaining. He's a very nice guy. And we were in the car going on a car ride. He calls them adventures because we end up doing all these crazy things whenever we're out and about. And he, um, he's like the DJ. He'll play the music. And he decided to play, like, show us. He did not appreciate this stuff at all himself. But he decided to show us kids bop and just play a bunch of kids bop music. And... Um, we were listening to it and we were making fun of it. He was playing songs that we all knew. But he played one. I think it was the anthem. Now, the anthem is a song about rebelling, right? It's like, you know, don't want to be a part of this system. Don't want to do this stuff. Yada, yada. That type of deal. That's what the song is about. They had a bunch of kids singing it. Singing a song about rebelling. And, like, going against the system. And, like, hey, man, fuck these guys. Obviously, they can't swear. And I yelled at it. Because it made no damn sense. I yelled at it so damn loud that I lost my voice in a coughing fit. Legitimately lost. Like, I couldn't talk. I had to talk in a slightly deeper tone because this part of my throat wasn't damaged. This one was... Per perfectly fine. But if I talk normally, yeah, it would like, <laughs> be like, yeah, it wouldn't work. But needless to say, I fucking hate Kids Bop now. Because they made me yell so hard that I lost my voice. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both and be one traveler. Long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth, and then took the other, as just as fair, and having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear, though as for that the passing there had worn them really about the same, and both that morning equally lay, in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day, yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. Is this a dagger which I see before me? The handle towards my hand! Come, let me clutch thee! I have not, yet I see thee still. Are thou not fatal v v visions, sensible to feeling as to sight? Or art thou just a dagger of the mind, a false creation of thy heat-oppressed brain, as palatable in form as that which I now draw? Thou hast marshalled me the way I was going. And such an instrument I was to use, mine such are made the fool of other senses, or else worth all the rest. I love Macbeth because even though I've, like, looked up the entire storyline and like the description of it and like in-depth like analysis of it i still have no fucking clue what the storyline is just it's completely lost to me i don't know why i just can never remember the freaking story of macbeth witchcraft celebrates pale, her pale hectates <laughs> offering as withered murder alumned by a sent sentinel the wolf who howls his watch thus with that stealthy pace i don't know it's a lot difficult to say things. I'm slowly starting to think I'm dyslexic or something. Photoshop is acting weird. Oh no, it looks like you're using Photoshop. Would you like to not? Well, your first mistake is using Photoshop as a drawing program. Dude, it's the polar opposite of learning. Do you know how many fucking options that thing has? And it has absolutely nothing to handhold you. It's fine for learning you need a better program. I mean, once you know how to use it, it's a fantastic program, but it's not easy to learn. Nor is it easy to learn what you need to learn either. Anyways, 
Um, yeah, no, you're, you're fucked. I have no idea how to help you. Like, not, I really don't like saying, well, fuck you, but I mean, I really just don't know how to help you out. But yeah, I really... Google it. Oh, it was on the, um, Grayscale Monotone setting? That was actually something I knew, but, like, that's not anything I would have thought of. And there you go, tech support with Zazar and Photoshop. This line's not deleting itself. <laughs> Fuck you. Hi, Zay. Today I have a question for your Photoshop series. You see, I keep on having this weird problem where my friend, he's really bad at photobombing my images. And quite frankly, I'm getting sick of it. He He's ruined many photos that I really enjoy. Uh, I understand that Photoshop is actually a uh, really good program at removing characters like this from photos. Do you know how I can go about doing that? <laughs> Fuck you. Thanks, Zay. <laughs> have a wonderful day. Because, I mean, I could be less helpful if you want. But I don't know why you'd want to miss out on these great tips like... Control Z. Undoes things. Fix your mistakes your own damn self. Control Z if you're rich. Control Z if you're an asshole. I swear to Christ, you guys, I need to increase the fucking cap for my goddamn freebie streams. Because I do one goddamn live stream, and next thing I fucking know, I have a fucking freebie stream to fucking do. Are you guys fucking kidding me? God damn it, I love you all. By the way, just letting everyone know, that freebie stream will absolutely be an orphan stream, just because. I want to draw everyone being sad and poor. The letter of today, everybody, is B. Everyone say it with me. B makes the B noise. Now, kids, what can we use B for? Bitch. Thank you. Get him off the set. Thanks to this stream today, I'm very tempted to start doing a highlight reel of my fucking live streams and uploading it to YouTube. Because Jesus Christ, the amount of stupid shit we do.